Here it's EMPA, which opens EMPA receptor channels. It's a glutamate agonist. When we want to record EMPA mediated current only, we use EMPA because otherwise, if we used glutamate, we would open all the glutamate sensitive receptor channels. To record the unitary EMPA current, we use the outside out configuration and voltage clamp mode to record a current. And we apply EMPA in the extracellular medium to open EMPA receptor channels and only those ones. We hold the membrane potential at minus 60 millivolt and we record inward currents that are very small. Now, if we change the membrane potential to plus 60 millivolt, the current is outward during the application of AMPA. And now if we depolarize more the potential to plus 80 millivolt, the current is also outward but larger. This suggests that the reversal potential of the AMPA current is here between minus 60 and plus 60 millivolt. To identify the exact value of the reversal potential of the AMPA current, we have to plot the IV curve. So the amplitude of the unitary current versus holding membrane potential, VH, you see here. And this shows that the current is uh, inward up to zero millivolt and then outward. That's what we see here. So it means here that the reversal potential is exactly at zero millivolt. Normally, the reversal potential indicates which ions cross the channel. Here, this reversal potential does not correspond to any of the equilibrium potentials that we studied before. E and A is far from zero millivolts. It's around plus 58 millivolts. EK is also very far. It's around minus 90 millivolts. E calcium also is nearly plus 120 millivolts. So it means that the channel is permeable to more than one ion type. The fact that the IV curve is linear shows that the channel is voltage independent and it suggests that because it reverses at zero millivolt that is a cation current and we will see in the next slide why. To find out which type of ions cross the EMPA channel, we first change the extracellular sodium concentration from a control concentration of 140 to a concentration of 50 millimolar. And we replace the sodium that is missing by a non-permanent cation. And we observe that the IV curve shifts to the left and the reversal potential is now negative close to minus 20 millivolts. This shows that sodium ions play a role in the AMPA curve. Now, do potassium ions also play a role? To test it, we now change the internal potassium concentration and we decrease it and we see that now the IV curve shifts to the right. This means that potassium ions also play a role in the EMPA current. So now why is the reversal potential equal to zero millivolt? We can calculate the reversal potential of a current carried by cations, sodium, and potassium. We can write it like that. It's not exact, but it's approximative, but it's okay. It equals 58 plus 1, because those ions have one positive charge, multiplied by logarithm of the concentration of sodium plus potassium on the outside over the concentration of sodium plus potassium on the inside. So it's 58, it's equals to 58 log 2. 140 plus 3 over 120 or 30 plus 14. So this is close to 0 millivolt, not, not exactly 0 millivolt, but it's close to 0 millivolt. So let's summarize on the right. What makes the EMPA channel open? It's the binding of two molecules of glutamate on the two receptor sites here. So the channel opens because of the binding of glutamate. It goes to the open state, and when it's in the open state, sodium and potassium ions go through. It means that sodium ions here in red 
go in, there is an entry of sediment, and potassium ion go out. Resultant of that, the net flux is a net flux of plus charges. So plus charges accumulate here because the electrochemical gradient for sodium ions is bigger than the one for potassium ions. So here there is an accumulation of plus charges. The membrane becomes depolarized because the inside of the membrane gets more positive than the outside of the membrane, and this is a depolarization. Sometimes... Amper receptor channels are also permeable to calcium ions. It depends on their subunit composition, and this is explained in a supplement.